It is with a profound sense of duty that I stand before you today at the inauguration of the training program for commanders of the Special Intervention Squad. The program is designed to prepare the trainees for the challenges associated with their new responsibility of taking up the lead positions in combating the scourge of kidnapping, banditry, armed robbery, terrorism, and other evolving challenges of crime confronting our society. Without mincing words, our country, like many other parts of the globe, is experiencing security challenges arising from the activities of the criminal elements seeking to undermine the peace and security of our nation. This development demands instant and appropriate response from us as the lead agency in the internal security architecture of our country. The situation at hand has challenged our ingenuity such that beyond the conventional reactive response approach to crime management, we conceive the idea of the Special Intervention Squad to serve as an elite unit of the force designed to anticipate, respond spontaneously, and manage crisis situations. The squad was primarily established for the purpose of confronting every situation that threatens the peace of the citizenry and restore law and order across the nation. The initiative is pivotal to safeguarding the lives and properties of all Nigerians while guaranteeing the supremacy of the state and the rule of law, thus protecting the integrity of our nation. With the conception of the SIS, mobilization of officers and men, it is only logical that the men be given specialized training to enable them to imbibe new skills and orientation, which will adequately prepare them for the task ahead. The force in, the drive, in this drive found a willing and dependable ally in the Bureau of International Narcotics and Law Enforcement Affairs, INL, an agency of the American government which volunteered to train the officers of the SIS. A major leap towards achieving this was achieved with the former signing on Monday, 18th of December 2023, of the Memorandum of Understanding, MOU, between the government of the Federal Republic of Nigeria and the government of the United States of America. The event today, therefore, is a major milestone towards the full operationalization of the SIS across the length and breadth of our country. As you are all aware, on the 17th January 2024, I formally launched the squad in FCT. Operatives of the squad have since commenced intensive operations, reinvigorating the offensive against criminal elements by taking the battle to their hideouts. The FCT SIS, within the period, has immensely boosted the security architecture and significantly decimated the camp of the criminal elements by arresting a total of 139 kidnapping and armed robbery suspects, recovering three GPR chargers, two AK-47 rifles, one Type 06, four locally fabricated guns, one Beretta pistol, two Makarov pistols, four locally fabricated pump-action guns, 504 pieces of AK-47 ammunition, 100 pieces of anti-aircraft gun ammunition, as well as the rescue of 154 kidnapped victims on hold. <laughs> Among the successes enumerated above was the interception along the Abuja Kaduna Expressway of three major suppliers of arms and ammunition to bandits operating in Niger, Sanfara, and Kaduna states. Similarly, operatives of the squad on Friday, 26 January 2024, engaged some armed bandits within the FCT Kaduna Axis in a fierce gun battle, during which three of them, including their gang leader, one Megemu, aka Gadaro, were neutralized. The successes recorded so far aptly testify to the triumph of willpower over adversities. We are commencing the training today with a total of 38 officers who were diligently selected to be the 
precursors of this crucial endeavor based on their competence, integrity, track record, demonstrated commitment to the cause of justice and suitability for this assignment. They will assume the roles of commanders of the squad across the states. This is the first step in the training phase as we'll expect the trainings of the men to commence at the conclusion of this particular program. It is the expectation of the force that the officers being presented for this training will take full advantage of the training, firstly, for their personal development and secondly, for the success in their assignment by being impactful on the field so as to attain the goals of the squad. I once again want to express our sincere appreciation to our friends from the Bureau of International Narcotics and Law Enforcement Affairs and by extension the Government of the United States of America for resolutely supporting us towards ensuring the success of the SIS project in Nigeria. I would like to particularly recognize the efforts of the senior advisor Sean Gavin and the MPF consultant Busayo Magaji. I also want to thank both the Nigerian police trainers and the American trainers who will be directly involved in this challenging cause. I want to assure you that we will take full advantage of the training for the benefit of the Nigerian society. In closing, I want to thank Mr. President and Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, President Bola Ahmed Tinubu, for supporting us and giving the Nigerian Police Force the enabling environment to operate. We pledge our continued people, build a lasting trust in the police by members of the public, protect and uphold the rights of persons to be impartial and respectful in the performance of police duties, and to continuously evaluate and improve police services. Finally, in the Code of Conduct and Professional Standards for Police in Nigeria, it says, the fundamental duties of a police officer include serving the community, safeguarding lives and property, protecting the innocent, keeping the peace, and ensuring the rights of all to liberty, equality, and justice. And that is why the U.S. government wants to support the Nigeria police and the SIS. The vision and mission the Nigeria Police Force has through the SIS is crucial to Nigeria. And as your partner, we want to help support that. We want to help you achieve the goals and aims of the Nigeria Police Force and the SIS to protect the people of Nigeria, to improve the economy, to protect the rights and freedoms of the people living here. So we thank you for this opportunity. We thank you for the dedication and service you are performing to the people and government of Nigeria. We thank you for your service. We thank you for your time and efforts. We thank you for the partnership we have and the opportunity we have to support you as we strive together to achieve those aims. Thank you very much.